conductor's story. We know that uh, much of the new building for semiconductor units will take place in Gujarat post the signing of deals between India and America. But what is the semiconductor story? A, a more basic question, Abhishek, what is a semiconductor? And then B, if you could tell us more about the industry and how COVID impacted it and now the role India could play. Uh, so semiconductors are very small but very essential part of any uh, equipment or any machinery that has a uh, uh, automation in uh, you know linked to it uh, we can see uh, around us uh, the, the cars most of uh, the cars today come with a semiconductor chip because of the number of uh, you know upgraded automation that it has uh, now uh, we we could see other uh, computers uh, or other electronic uh, you know, communication equipments, they, they use semiconductors. So uh, anything uh, that is uh, mostly manufactured right now has a semiconductor which actually guides, uh, which actually has all the information how these things will be operated and these semiconductor chip uh, are a module uh, that, that transfer information from uh, the moment that we try to, uh, you know, uh, put information and the moment uh, when it will be executed by the machine. So in between the semiconductors play a very crucial role where they are the input taker and output uh, processor of, this, of the functionality that we want to achieve from any machine or any automated machines across any manufacturing unit, uh, be it uh, textile machinery, chemical machinery or major uh, you know, manufacturing giants like, uh, you know, GE Electronics, you, you, we have said, uh, or uh, any turbine, uh, anything that is having a, mach a machine uh, is very much dependent on semiconductor. And the recent weeks, in, in the recent months, in fact, uh, ever since this COVID uh, pandemic has happened, we have seen uh, Chinese companies being locked because of COVID restriction. And there had been a massive uh, you know, downscaling of production in, in of various type, various products. But semiconductor was something that impacted manufacturing across the world because China happened to be one of the largest producer of the semiconductor. Other uh, second was Taiwan that also produced a lot of semiconductor, high end semiconductor product. But then, uh, after the Chinese side could not supply the world enough number of semiconductors, manufacturing of vehicles across the world were impacted. Uh, we in India also had seen. Uh, you know, those, those waiting of cars, I mean, if, if you could uh, understand the car, waiting for uh, purchasing of a car or getting a car delivered increased from few days to few weeks and then few months. And that was because not the manufacturing capacity in India was downscaled or uh, anything else has happened because the semiconductor, that is something that India does not produce uh, and it was mostly imported. Uh, the supply line of the semiconductor got disrupted and which disrupted and disturbed manufacturing of all sort of uh, you know automated machines across the world so now the world has realized the fact that these crucial small but very important part of any machine needs to be uh, have it needs to have some diversified locations from across uh, in across the world india has proposed itself as a very uh, very very part of the global supply chain where it has assured the world that it will uh, it will try to create a resilient supply chain uh, economy or, or, or a flow of uh, our value based uh, addition to that supply chain. Uh, so clearly, I mean, uh, we could see that uh, if Micron is coming to India, it is not just uh, going to, manif to start manufacturing these uh, semiconductors because it will take few years before we finally get to know uh, all the technological expertise and uh, technology transfer from big companies to Indian side. But now, for now, the, 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 the unit that is coming up in Sanan, in Gujarat, will have about $2.7 billion of investment. Government is also extending some, uh, you know, uh, incentives to that company. That will be somewhere around $800 million uh, that will be given to the company. So clearly, a huge investment that is coming to uh, India, a, 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 a facelift for the, for the Indian side to be part of that uh, strong, global, resilient supply chain where now these semiconductors will be repackaged and tested in India before being shipped abroad. Okay. Abhishek, I want to ask you, uh, there were some contradicting reports that in the months leading up to this meeting, the Americans were applying tremendous pressure on Delhi to become an American client. Again, those are contradictory reports. So, so what details can you confirm to us? So, uh, I mean, see, uh, there would always be interest groups uh, which will try to take the negotiations, uh, you know, away from uh, the, uh, you know, the other party side and to make it more profitable for them on th their own. There was, uh, I mean, 
in not only this the, in this business transaction terms, but there was also talk from some quarters in Europe, in USA, that India should be announced as a non-NATO ally. India should be given that status, which India, of course, India would itself not be very comfortable with having that uh, you know, non-NATO ally status because of the closeness and the strategic partnership, deep friendship that it has Russia for over the last uh, several decades. Uh, so clearly that is something that has not happened um, so far during the negotiation. It hasn't come up yet. Uh, also about these many business negotiations, uh, I mean, of course, th there are stories uh, that these major companies or these major negotiations try to create uh, before the finality of a deal is achieved uh, so that the maximum uh, profit is retained by their side. So it's clearly, uh, I would say, it is just a matter of uh, you know maximum profit that these companies try to try to make and the partnership that they try to negotiate uh, and this is why these stories or these uh, you know uh, these informations are leaked to media before any any deal could be negotiated finally between the leaders or between the two uh, countries right uh, abhishek i just want to ask you now let's before we talk more about these deeds let's ask you more of a bricks and mortar kind of question tell us more about what remains on the prime minister's itinerary through tonight and tomorrow morning uh, so, Prime Minister, uh, after this state uh, dinner, uh, I, I think today's uh, schedule of Prime Minister will have an end. Uh, tomorrow, he is going to meet some of the dignitaries of, of Indian USA uh, origin or some Indian community is also going to be there. He is going to have a lecture uh, at uh, John F. Kennedy Center. Well, probably he will outline uh, the Indo-US cooperation uh, and what are the areas where uh, these two countries need to explore. Like we have seen Prime Minister Modi speaking that whenever he, uh, he has met uh, with any US counterpart, uh, always a new area of cooperation or always a new area of collaboration has come up in the mind. So now India and US are looking at the partnership in a 360 degree way where not a single area uh, is left out. Uh, as unimportant, everything from uh, from uh, tr in energy transition to climate change to uh, to strategic uh, you know dealings, defense purchases, uh, uh, you know democratic values. If you say uh, you know agriculture, biotech, uh, high tech, in, uh, high tech technology, space cooperation, uh, emerging technologies, uh, semiconductor. Uh, you name a field that two countries needs to collaborate and you will find Indian and US cooperation right there. So this is the kind of uh, you know recipe or, 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 the, or the menu that we are going to witness in the, in the coming days between India and US partnership and when Prime Minister will be having an address at John F. Kennedy Center where he'll, he can have more informal interaction with the grouping, with the group of people who are uh, invited to attend that address. Uh, we'll see how uh, he visions India's uh, role or India-US partnership in the decades to come.